Hi there everyone, it's Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. This is going to be a long video. Just need to prepare everyone. This is gonna be a start to finish. We're gonna go over the MLB algorithm, the baseball algorithm that I've created in Microsoft Excel and also presented to those of us who are subscribed to a daily version of it in a Google Sheet um, that involves wind and direction of wind and venue and all types of things that create a projected score. But what we're going to do today in this video and why it's going to be so long is that we're going to show from start to finish how you'd update this on a daily basis because it will change slightly as we continue to build on it, but it's fundamentals of the sheets you need to update and how to get it going can be discussed in this video. So expect a long video. If you're just here for the projections for Wednesday, April 13th, I'd say look at however long this video is, which I'm guessing is going to be like 20 minutes plus. And, um, and go to the end, because <laughs> that's where the, the score projections will be for the day. Other than that, you can you know, you know you should purchase this if you bet on baseball uh, and do it a lot, because it, it's going to just provide so much information. And you can do what you want to with it and not be relying on me. You will need a RotoWire subscription to get some of the stats that we're going to go over. Um, to subscribe to them, I believe you need a subscription to, to get the Excel exports for certain things. So uh, that's $9.99 a month is what I pay for for all sports. It's worth it. I, I highly recommend their service. They're fantastic. So let's go. What happened yesterday? Good day. Very good day. 11-4. and four. Um, Really cool, uh, nice wins up at the top. Everything over 10% wins except for the Seattle underdog. And they tried. I mean, they, they left like nine guys on base. And this guy... Um, Pitched pitch very well out of AAA, so unfortunately they don't win the game, but they did cover plus one and a half, I believe. The score of that game was right here. Yeah, they came back and got a run in the ninth and only lost by one. So really, really good stuff coming out of this file. Yesterday, finally, new distribution here, working better, um, better stuff. Okay, so how – oh, and I noticed one other thing. I forgot to put some pitcher whip percentages for people that were not uh, 2021 pitchers in, in baseball, like uh, – different, you know, triple A guys and stuff. That actually affects the projections and that's wrong. So we'll fix that next time, but we gotta look for that. Any zeros anywhere in any of these columns uh, is not okay. So we gotta fix any zeros. Here they show up in green instead of red because it's a, it's a negative factor. But anyway, all right, so what do we do? How do we get this thing going for tomorrow? Well, one thing I did is I connect the results tab to the matchups tab now so that we can simulate this by changing percentages. And I'm not going to do that today because that's not what this video is about. But how do we unfreeze this and set up for t tomorrow or essentially today, which is Wednesday, April 13th? First thing we need to do is wherever you see these matchups formulas, these things need to be turned into values. So I'm going to copy this area, control C, or, or just copy it, and then paste one, two, three values. Now we've un unconnected everything. And this is just now frozen, which is good. Now, today, 413, what do we do? We go to our favorite source, RotoWire. We go to baseball, we go to sports betting. There are early games today. These games start in 40 minutes, so you know I'm on the clock, right? Everybody's like, where's the picks, Ken? So we just downloaded the odds. We now open up the odds. <clears throat> the odds go in. Our sheet, as I sip on coffee and almost drop my phone off the table. I'm trying to catch it with one hand. Got it. Okay. Um, we're going to go to, I'm just going to put the phone on the floor. Uh, we're going to copy these odds right here. And then we go back to the Excel sheet and we go to the odds sheet. And the odds, sh <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not dying of COVID, I swear I'm fine. Um, we, this odds area right here, we just want to paste. And it looks like there are fewer games today, so we want to get rid of these other games that are at the bottom. And now we've got our games in here. So there are 12 games, it says. Well, if you go to the matchup sheet now, we have the matchup sheet set up for 15 games. These are all kind of connected formulas by two columns at a time. So in order to get rid of this, I just go down here to this blank column and then grab the bottom right where that black X is and just pull it up and kind of back autofill it and, and get rid of everything. So now we've got 12 games, assuming they're all in order. Sometimes I screw up the, uh, the order here if there's a rain out and I'll remove a game, but there are actually, let's see, 48. There are 24, so this is 12 games. So this is correct. 
Now, you're not getting any generated uh, projections yet because of a few things. Pitchers aren't matching up with their pitching year. Well, from yesterday, we had a couple pitchers that were AAA and AA pitchers. We want to reset this to all 2021, and now we only have two pitchers that have a problem. Nick Lodolo and Chris Paddock. So let's look up Nick Lodolo and find out what Nick Lodolo's situation is. And we're going to do that by going into the daily lineup sheet, fantasy daily lineups. Now here is where Nick Lodolo, all right, he's a Cincinnati pitcher. This game might get rained out also. He played in AAA last year. Now I probably have him, let's remember this whip number of 1.45, I probably have him in, in the, um, in the file already, in the pitcher sheet as AAA. Let's find out. Well, well, one way we can find out is actually going into the matchup sheet and just typing AAA right here. If we have him, exactly, he shows up. That's only six innings, though. That's really bad information. Is there anything better we can get for him? How about the AA last year in 10 games, 44 innings? That sounds better. He's good. He's really good, actually. He's 2-1. So let's, let's use those numbers because they're better. So, and there's something else I wanted to do, which is add his whip, because we haven't been having adding whip recently. So this is actually going to be double A, and we're going to clear out his stats real quick. This is what I have to do every day to get this thing right, guys. I mean, you got, you've got to really get it right, get it right, otherwise you, you get bad information in your file, and you don't want that. Was it 44 in this pitch? 44, 2 and 1, 184.91. 2 and 1, uh, 1.44 and 0 0.91, right? That's really good, right? Is that what it was? 1.84 right here. Okay, so now we go back to the matchup sheet and we put double A here. Whoops. Put double A right here. And now we're going to get some better stats for that guy. How about Chris Paddock? I think Chris Paddock got traded. That's what, that's what I think happened there. Chris Paddock is... I could search his name, but I'm drinking coffee again. Chris Paddock. Where are you, Chris Paddock? Okay, he's on Minnesota. Mm-hmm. He played for San Diego last year. So we got to go to the Matrix, Paddock, he's now on Minnesota, and in the pitcher sheet, he's now, he, we're, we're pretending he played for Minnesota last year, and we're giving him Minnesota stats for last year. And now we have everybody in here. Looks like we're done, except we're not even close to done. <laughs> we're done if we didn't update any lineups or stats or anything, and there's no lineup factor in here, so this is not done at all. So let's start with lineups. So these are where the lineups come in. We're going to clear this out. We're going to go back to our lineup sheet here. And you can see that a lot of these are confirmed already. That is not, unfortunately, Washington. But a lot of other ones are confirmed already because these are a lot of early games up until the 340 game. So Washington, of course, calling us causing us problems. Why wouldn't they? We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it as the, the text ones. This one right here, it's the match destination of Formatting, you don't want to do keep source formatting because then you get uh, HTML and disaster and it breaks. So it's got to be this pace. That, that's an important thing. Then you refresh this table right here. Now all of a sudden we've got new lineups in here. And any errors or people we don't have in our list will show up as an error in the order sheet here. There aren't any. Good. So our rosters are pretty good. We're distributing our stats from 2022 and 2021 in a 25 to 75% um, uh, distribution. That's fine for now. I like how it's working. We'll, we'll move it more to all to 2022 by the end of April, but that, that's where it's at right now, so that's fine. Now that we've done that, our matchup sheet's going to look a little better. We've got lineup factors, or essentially we have lineups, for every team except Detroit. And the reason why we don't have that is Eduardo Rodriguez is probably abbreviated as E. Rodriguez in this. Yep, right here. And we can change that by going and going to the odd sheet, grabbing his name right here as text, or grab his name anywhere really. And then you got to go back to the lineup sheet and you got to override this. And the pivot table, which is what this blue thing is, is a pivot table. 
it will remember that name and it will fix it for all instances of that name as he repeated the labels of, of the name. And now he works and we get a lineup factor correct right here. All right, so we're making progress. Now, this is MLB 413, by the way, I gotta change that. Uh, all right, so we've we've done some things. We've got odds. We've got um, lineups. Let's check our lineup pivot real quick, but not not really because we're not supposed to do that yet. I'll explain why. Let's move lineup pivot like over here. We have player stats for 2022. We need to bring in, and we have pitcher stats for 2022. We need to bring in. Now it's a little bit more complicated early in the year because I start the 2022 stats right down here at row 676 because we've got last year's stats that we're also using and they're not going to change because they're from last year. But this year's stats will change. So you can get rid of all the ones we had from yesterday and then you don't have to, but you can. The list is only going to grow. You go to stats, basic stats, and we need to grab the pitchers and the batters or the batters and the pitchers, if you want to do it in the right order. <laughs> you grab the pitchers as well. So we're going to open up both of these, and you'll see where we paste them. We have the player sheet is the batters, really. Um, as a matter of fact, I will rename that to make it less complicated right now. This is the batters. These players could be pitchers or, um, or, or batters. These are batters, unless you're Shohei Otani and you're both. Uh, so this is the pitcher list. Let's go to the other one, which is the batting list. Copy all the batters. Bring them into the batter sheet right here. Now scroll down because you're gonna have to add some formula rows. You don't, I mean, I should just extend it out indefinitely so we don't have to worry about it. I can just do this too. So you don't have to do it every day. But, um, but I like to just take a look and see how many new players were added sometimes. This is all 2022 stats. So now we have all the player stats in here, and then you can reset and put yourself right here for tomorrow when you have to repaste this right here again tomorrow. Or we could just have an anchor so that whenever you're over here and you don't know where you are, you just press control down and it'll bring you to your anchor. Let's do that. All right, so batters done. How about pitchers? Is there, no, I just did this one. Pitchers or this one? Tyler McGill, big win for the Mets yesterday. One of our losses. We had Philadelphia. McGill, McGill pitched well. So we go to the pitchers. We need to build an anchor for the pitchers as well. We'll do that in a second. They go right here. And we'll build our anchor. And we'll see what we got here. Yeah, I've already extended formulas in this one, so you don't have to do that. The reason why everyone's showing up in pink is if they pitched last year and this year, they're in here twice, essentially, for each year. And so... That's why they're they're highlighted in pink. That's our anchor, so we're good. So we've just brought in pitchers now, so that's done. Okay. So pitchers, batters, done. Now we have team batting and team pitching. It's a different set of, set of statistics. They are under the team stats right here. Stats, team stats. We've got basic, you know, basic right there. Basic advanced, or not basic advanced, batting advanced. Oh, export there. Uh, we've got pitching basic and pitching advanced. And some people have mentioned, you know, can, you, can you create a data connection to like do this and do it automatically? And I guess you could, but you're going to have issues with formatting if anybody ever changes anything. And I mean, you're looking at how long does this actually take because you just do it once a day. It takes like under a minute to do all four of these, right? And this is advanced what? Advanced pitching. So advanced pitching. I'll show you the order they go in. In the pitching one, the uh, sorry, the team pitching one, the advanced is the first one listed. So that's the advanced pitching. And then you're gonna have what basic pitching is the next one. Copy. I'm just doing control and the arrow key to move fast when I do that copy paste. That's the basic pitching. Then you've got um, advanced batting, which is, I believe, also going to be the first one listed on the batting. Let's find out. Yeah, I think so. Unless those are the exact same number of columns that we had to do that right. I think, I think we did. Uh, and then batting is right here, regular batting. Okay, now you've just done all of those. They're all, they all can go away now. And you're left with 
what now? Injuries, I'm not doing anything with yet, but eventually we'll do something with injuries when we get a full roster count of who's actually potentially playing. Well, so we'll worry about That's why it's in red. We'll worry about it later. It's not actually. Need, need to work on. Need to work on. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, now, we've done everything else except look at our lineup pivot, which is our, we should call it really batting order pivot. Because that's what it is. And when you refresh this thing, if there are any holes, then we're missing somebody. So we're missing, meaning any clear cells in this cube right here of all, you know, one through nine batters. And you can see who they are by just expanding out the team and how we rank them. It's very cool. So it's a quick way of making sure that we have everybody. So we're missing the ninth player on Arizona. So if we go back to the lineups and we look at Arizona, the ninth player is, is that a, Yanni Hernandez, and he played in Arizona this year. Why are we missing him? Maybe it's because his abbreviation is weird in his name. It's possible. See where he shows up on here. Nowhere. Um, is he in our matrix? We can try adding someone to the matrix, and if they do show up in pink, then that means they are there. So what's going on, Yanni? Why aren't you working? Because you got traded from Texas. That's why. So Yanni Hernandez is now on Arizona. We're going to change that into battery as well. You got him there, but we don't have him here. So here he's also on Arizona. So now our batting order pivot should be clean. And it is. Um, the reason why there's twos or two times that these people exist is because we're including them from last year and this year. That will change at the end of the year. So now we're actually done for the most part. So what happened now? Oh yeah, so we have a matrix of 12 games. I don't see any zeros in lineup factor. Are there any zeros in PWIP? No, so we got that correct too. So everything looks good. Now we're gonna connect it to our results and our simulation pivot. Meaning you're just gonna go equal sign right here at the first over under run cell and you're gonna go right here. Enter. Now you're gonna copy and we're gonna paste a special as Formulas is what you're going to do here. Right click once you get it all the way to the right, paste special or just the FX. It says paste, paste special as formulas. And now that you've done that, we're going to bring it down 24 rows and get to our 12 games, which are right about there. We're going to bring in our date of 413. And now when we refresh this, we get the order of the picks. Bam! Just like that. Uh, oh, one more thing. We don't have scores for these games yet, so get rid of them. So we don't have wins losses yet. Now, that is what it looks like. And it says Atlanta over Washington with no Washington confirmed lineup is the pick of the day. Then you've got Houston, hot yada yada, all the way down to Seattle again it picks, even though it's been wrong with Seattle a couple days in a row. And that's your order right there. Um, and for those people who are accessing the Google Sheet, We've got confirmed lineups for everything except Washington in the beginning, right? Did they, did they do it yet? Oh, they're done. Let's update it. Copy. Let's see how quick it is to update. Copy. Now, go back to lineups. We're going to get rid of this and we're going to paste over the new one. And just to glance and see what happened, we'll look see if, if any of this changed when we refresh. Yep, see it changed a little bit. So their roster did change, so it matters. Go back to the batting order. Refresh. There, you see it changed down there. And we're updated now, and it's all connected, so we refresh. We'll see if that Atlanta changes from a 30% margin to slightly up, <laughs> even a little bit better. So that is ready. So that means all the games that are up to this game, correct, all had lineups, which means it's these games right here all the way to there. We're going to copy that, and we're going to bring it into the Google Sheet when we create a new Google Sheet off of today. We're going to duplicate the Google Sheet we had from yesterday. And we're going to call it 413. We're going to get rid of yesterday, even though I think I put the scores in there correctly. A pretty good day yesterday, right? 73% of the games won. Uh, hide sheet. Here we now have to get rid of this, 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 
Oh, no, we want to leave projected high score. We want to get rid of this. And let's zoom out a little bit, make it easier to look at. We don't need any of this from yesterday, even though it's going to get copied over anyway. And what comes in is what we just had here, these, these games with just confirmed lineups are what I'm putting in here. And then we wrap this formatting, wrapping, wrap. Okay. That should work. And then here's what else we do. So we've got our games. We've got to be, it still says Atlanta's number one. Well, what about all the conditions for those games? Well, they're right here. Um, we got 72 degrees, 8 mile per hour out in that game. So you said eight mile an hour out, 72. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with, with temperature. It's just something we're looking at at this point. Yeah, out and out. The clear, and, and that you see that just made Atlanta score even more runs because now all of a sudden you've got wind going out is what happened there. How about Cleveland Cincinnati? That's where it's 63% rain, 14 miles an hour right to left. Oh, that brings up another thing I want to talk about. I don't know what I'm doing with right to left or left to right. All I'm doing formulas with are in and out. And so it's we got to do something with that per ballpark. I don't know exactly um, what to do there. So we'll work on that. This is a 64 degree game. Then Chicago and Pittsburgh is 373 nine mile per hour right to left. So we're not really doing anything with right to left. Is it 73 there? 3% um, rain. Then there's Mets in Philadelphia. Here you've got 76 eight mile per hour out. Okay. And out. Then you have LA Dodgers, Minnesota. 12% rain, 41, 14 out. 14 out. 71 something percent rain is high, right? And then there's Boston, Detroit. 12% rain, is in it? Where's Boston, Detroit? Right here. Oh, did I just do the wrong thing? No, I did the right thing. Um, 10% rain, 70, 17 miles an hour right to left in Detroit. What does that mean? 17 right. To, see, we got to do something with this right to left stuff. I don't, I don't know what to do there. What's the rain chance? 10% rain, 70 degrees. And this was like, what was this one? Percent rain there? That, does it matter? Zero in the Mets fell off here, right? No, it was something else. LA Minnesota was something. It was 12. So, all right. So these are confirmed lineup games, and the projected I scores have now changed. All right. Well, have we learned anything from this? Um, looking at an over in this Atlanta game, because why not? Josiah pitching again, huh? Didn't he just pitch? So you can see what Josiah did in his first start by doing 2022 here. Oh, no, sorry, not there. <laughs> Just doing the Excel file, sorry. Josiah Gray's 2022, he, he did. He had an error at nine. Yikes. So keep that and see how you can simulate this year, what I just did there. His, his ERA and stuff changed right here. This is what we're going with, which is 70 innings from last year, which we're also not good, but he has not started good this year, and the score gets even worse. It goes from 8 to 2 to 10 to 1 or something. So that game, which is starting very soon, um, is, is an over. It's an Atlanta team run game. Um, it can understand why they're minus 210, right? Cleveland-Cincinnati goes from goes up a little bit because of some right-to-left wind, but I don't know if that's right. We got Cincinnati can be a ballpark where it can fly out. I just can't remember which direction it matters. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What else? I don't know. The point is, is now you can start doing your analysis. I'm going to send out this to everybody, but you can see that is the start to finish. How you update this thing, and then you just start updating scores as they come in. And if you know, if Atlanta wins and crushes it, then you refresh the pivot automatically, and it shows that Atlanta was a win and how many 
how many rugs they put up. So awesome stuff. All right. Good luck, everyone. Go purchase a copy of this while I'm still selling it because at the end of April, I'm going to move on to other stuff uh, and, and not be doing this at, at this intensity every day. It's just I'm getting this ready and getting it out. And so you should be able to update it yourself and, and take it from there and, and then just send me the good stories. Be like, oh, my God, I hit freaking I hit 13 in a row yesterday. I'll be like, I know. It does that sometimes. All right. So good luck, everyone. May all your picks be winning.